Hi, today I'm going to show you how to work out the magnitude of a column a vector. To do this, follow these three easy steps. Step one, you need to square the top and bottom numbers of the vector. Step two, add these two numbers together that we've just worked out. And that step three, you need to square root the final answer. So let's have a look at example one. So we've got to find the magnitude of four and seven. So step one then, we need to square the two numbers in the vector. So four squared is four times four, which is 16. And if we square the bottom number of the vector, seven squared is seven times seven, which is 49. So we now do step two, so we add 49 and 16 together. So this will give us 65. And then step three, we need to square root this answer. So let's just get your calculator. So square root of 65 is 8.06 to two decimal places. So let's move on to example two then. So this one's a little bit harder because we've got a negative number in the vector. So again, step one then. So we need to square the numbers on the top and the bottom of the vector. So first of all, do minus three squared, which is minus three times minus three. So this answer will always be positive because we're multiplying two negative numbers together. If you're putting it on your calculator, make sure you put the negative number in a bracket, otherwise it might not come out correct. So this will give us an answer of plus 9. Do the same with the 6. So if we square that, that's 6 times 6, which is 36. So again, we're now going to add these two numbers together to give us 45 and then the final step is to square root this answer so if we just get your calculator again so the square root of 45 is 6.71 to two decimal places uh, if you like this video make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel maths 3000 thanks for watching